Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue colouring in uh, this picture which is from Deborah Muller's Twisted Tutus. We are still doing the background. I'm going to carry on with that for a bit and we'll have a little chat. So I want to say hello to anybody who's never come here before, anybody new to the channel. Thank you for coming. Bye. I hope you'll stay. Um, I hope you'll subscribe and to those who already subscribed, thank you very much for coming back again. It really is appreciated. I love seeing your comments. I know I don't post as much as I should. But that's me being lazy at the moment, so starting to feel better, so hopefully I'll be back to posting properly very soon. So how are you all? Are you all okay? Doing fine? I hope so. So we're good here. Although I'm very tired today because Jennifer had me up at uh, in the night at 12, 2, 4 and 6, pretty much every two hours, near enough. Uh, 6, we just got up then because I'd be getting up in, at half past. I thought I might as well just get up now. She's not going back to sleep. So she fell asleep in the car on the way home, which is going to wake most of the rest of the day. She has been dopey and dozing on the sofa cuddling me. And I dozed off as well because I'm exhausted. But other than that, we're all good, Paul's fine. Just cracking on, really, getting on with, uh, you know, work and, and stuff. Been busy reading because I got the book When Marilyn Met the Queen by Michelle Morgan. In fact, I've got two copies of it, which is <laughs> another story which I'll tell about when I do my uh, book haul at the end of the month. And I've read that and reviewed it, so and I loved it. So there's a review up on my blog, which is booksbooksbooks.blog. And there's also, it's also on Amazon. So that's cool. I did a double page spread in my journal. So if you watch the weekly vlog on Monday, if you watch those, you'll see it because it's in there. Um, I also spoke about the book on TikTok a lot. And I will continue to do that. So I do like doing TikTok. I've got I've 170 something followers on the uh, Andrea's Life. So that's the one I do mostly book stuff on, uh, as well as other bits and pieces, but mostly books. And then on Marilyn and Me, which is all Marilyn stuff, I've got like 106, I think. It might be 107. So I'm really pleased I've just got a lot of, of new followers on that channel. I'm really glad. So you do get the odd nutter, but we have to live with those. Yeah, there's always somebody who thinks they know more than you do. And in some cases, I'll admit, they do. But not this particular nutter, no. But I'm not going to go into that. Um, you can see it by going to Marilyn and me and... Uh, Read in the comments on uh, some of the Marilyn TikToks. So yeah, so, yeah um, reading a lot. I, not only did I finish When Marilyn Met the Queen, that was last week. I've also read and finished Bram Stoker's Dracula again. I haven't changed my star rating. It still remains what it was. Again, you'll have to... really really um come back to my wrap up at the end of the month when i do my book wrap ups i've got to do some work on my ebay account i am having a few sales which is great i need to put some more stuff on it because you know I want, to, I want to try and make money not break even at the moment i'm just making a slight profit but not much so i need to i need to do a bit more Um, that's something I'm hopefully going to get back into in the next few days. My main thing is to make sure I do it religiously in the next financial year. Um, this year I'm just treading water. But next year I want to really have a good go at it. And I'm going to set up my payments. Because on eBay when you get paid you can get paid daily. Uh, weekly or monthly and I think they're putting in request payout so if you've got it set to monthly but you need the money you can go and request it 
Uh, at the moment I've got it on weekly so it pays out every Tuesday if there is anything. Sometimes there is. Most of the time there's at least something but not much. Um, sometimes there isn't. And um, But come April I'm probably going to set it to monthly because it doesn't, just means I only have to do um, certain bits every month. So I only have to put in what I've made every month at the end of the month or the beginning of the next month. So for instance April this year could quite possibly say I'm in minus figures but I go by because I don't spend the money other than on buying other things to sell I could just you know I just go by the year the uh, overall profit for the year because it's just saying in a, a bank account for me to dip into when I need more stock or if something interesting comes up at auction like some cameras then I will definitely you know, if, it's, if it looks like a good lot that's not going to go too much I sometimes will bid on them um, a lot of my cameras there sometimes I get them from charity shops I've got one that I'm testing I need to finish that film so I can get it listed because it's a really nice camera and it'll probably go for about 80 quid which is a good profit considering I only paid three pounds for it so. At the moment I've still got a load of clothes that I can photograph and list. I've still got some photos, some clothes that I haven't listed that is that I've have been photographed, measured and put in the boxes. Um, so I've just got to get them on the computer and it's just been it's just me being lazy and I know it is and I've got to stop because this is supposed to be money for when we retire, you know. So that's why I do it. So I want to make money, not lose it. At the moment, it's treading water at around the same amount. So I'm hoping next year I'll be able to push it up and get the money up in that account. I do use Royal Mail, which is one of the most expensive um, providers. But to me, it's more convenient to use Royal Mail than any of the others because I'd have to go all over the shop to drop parcels off. And I can drop parcels off at the post office when I drop Jennifer off for nursery. So we drop her off, drive around to the post office, drop the parcels off and off we go. So it's convenient. Now if I ever did it full time and I was living off of it, that'd be different. Then I would look at getting the cheapest possible shipping I could, so. But yeah, I love it. I do like doing it, you know. So I really must get some more stuff listed, drafted and listed. Uh, this week is half term, so Jennifer's home early from nursery because she still goes to a private daycare, uh, but only till one o'clock. Normally she goes to three on a uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. This week she's only in until one. So like tomorrow I don't finish the one, so Paul will have to walk down and get her, which he's not keen on, but that's all there is to it. It's only this week and then it won't be until Easter holidays. So. Oh, I love it. I do love her. She's so funny. She calls me Andrea sometimes. She calls me Andrea Mummy. Oh, that's so funny. But she can say all our names, so that's good. Except for my mum, she has to say Terry. She can't say Teresa yet. <laughs> Not that it matters. So, so she's funny but yeah so that's what's been going on I mean it's been pretty good I've been reading I'm currently reading a book called The, the Dark Rose which is um, book two in the Moreland Dynasty series I haven't read book one I thought I had book one but I can't find it so maybe I didn't I know there's one missing later on so if I can find that one cheap if I enjoy the series I might get it but I'm not gonna go and read the whole series straight away because there's like 30 odd books if not more there's definitely 30 of them and there's one missing in the middle as well as the first one and I am enjoying the first one I've only read two chapters of it and it's really good but I know if I started reading it all in one go and started just binging it I would not get to the end so I might not read these ones actually aren't on my TBR because I forgot to put them on there so I might not read one now until May or April if I'm in the mood 
um, and I want to read it, I will. If I think, oh, I fancy one of them. But I've got so many other books on my lists to read. My old TBR list, which is the one that's um, at 200, I think, near enough. And then the ones, the books I've bought this year. Obviously, some of them I've read. Some of them I'm buying to read straight away, such as the um, Stephen King ones. I buy them one a month. So next month I'll be buying another one. Now I've got um, Marches, which is If It Bleeds, which is three short stories or three novellas, which is great. Love it. And then I'm just wondering what to, to read next. I think I might go for Carrie and start reading them in order of publication. The only one I probably won't be able to do is Rage, which was written as Richard Bachman. It was part of the Bachman books. But it's now out of print and it's very expensive. It's like 30 quid to get one book. So I might leave that till the very last when I've read all the other Stephen Kings. And I'll be thinking, yes, I do need to read that one. <laughs> and then I'll, I might, might treat myself to it. Um, and it's because it's about a school shooting. So he pulled it. He said, no, we're not publishing it anymore. So you can still get second-hand copies, but they are quite pricey. And I don't really need a copy of the Backman book because I've already got it. It's just it doesn't have that one book in it. But yeah, I'm going to go back to the beginning and read Carrie, which was the first book. I think that's what I'm going to do in March. It's also not a horrifically long book. I think it is the next long book. Obviously, where I've already read a book, I'm not going to worry about it. But I do love a bit of Stephen King. I have never read Cujo, so I'm looking forward to that one. There are quite a few that I have read. The Dead Zone I've read, but I haven't got a copy of it anymore, which is a shame. I did have, and it was purged when I got rid of a lot of books when we moved into this house. And at the time, I wasn't keeping all my Stephen Kings. And then, thanks to Missy, the book bin, the binge reader, she hasn't put a video on for a long time, but I know she had COVID before around Christmas. So, but she is okay, which is the main thing. And I know she will post again when she's ready. Um, she uh, started it because she's a huge Stephen King fan and then she started doing the Stephen King readathon which I do normally do. I'm not doing it this year because a lot of the books that she's picked I've already read and I don't want to reread them. So I'm kind of just doing my own Stephen King thing this year which is uh, reading whatever book I want. You know, Princess of Red Stand. No, that was huge. It took me like 14 15 days to read it which is a long time for me I usually can finish a book in two to three days Dracula took a while because I want I like the book and I like the story of Dracula but I just think the ending lets it down because it's just so blink and you miss it it's over Dracula's dead it's like what what happened you know, it's that, it's, it is that I was, you know, you expect a bit more from Dracula than him just uh, crumbling into dust. Um, mind you, they did have to chase him all over Europe, but there you go. But I did enjoy it, don't get me wrong. So now I've got to decide what classic to read next month. Now, up on my bookshelf, on my collection, although I can't see it, but I know they're up there, I do have a few classics. I do have Catcher in the Rye. And I do have How Green Was My Valley, which sadly is a bit knackered, even though I bought it new. Or I can buy Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. So which one, which classic do you think I should read next month? Um, Catcher in the Rye, How Green Was My Valley, or Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Let me know. I will also put it in the weekly vlog. Uh, I do like a good classic. I've got some others up there. I've got Emil Zola's Rome. I've got Fidio Dostoevsky's The Karamazov of Brothers. There's probably a few more modern classics, but they're the ones up there. Now, I don't do a formal TBR for the month other than my classic book and my Stephen King book. Because 
I know I won't stick to it because I am what they call a mood reader, but I am mood reading what is on my TBR. There are so many books I can't wait to get to though, and most of the ones I've booked, bought this year. Um, but I am looking at it and I think I want to read, oh there's, some, there's a, a thriller up there I can see, there's another MJ Aldridge and I enjoyed the last one so I want to read that. Um, there's some short stories there, there's some quick romances. There's loads. I'll probably read another Jack the Ripper. I just don't know which one yet. So, yeah. Um, I'm thinking of putting down the big Jack the Ripper book by Otto Penzler. Because if I can, if I get that one down, it's one that I'm going to start reading. But it's going to sit there for a while and... Um, I wonder if it's available on an audiobook. I might download it as an audiobook if it is. Um, that would be a good one to listen to by audio. Thing. Um, and just one I dip into now. I still haven't finished my first audiobook of this year, and I'm thinking about what I'm going to listen to next because I've got a few that I want to get on with. And the first one I'm listening to, I actually, well, I've got two. I've got one called Ghostland, which I saw on Simon Savage's channel, Savage Reads. It's good. Oops, that's my phone going off. And then there's also, um, Hogfather by Terry Pratchett. Now I'm very, very close to finishing that. So I might listen to a bit of that while I'm colouring tonight. Because I want to, well, I want to do a bit of colouring tonight. So I have got so many whips that it is unreal. You would not believe how many whips I've got. It is awful. And although I'm starting new pictures on these colouring charts, I am trying to finish off some of the whips. I've got whips from Halloween, I've got whips from Christmas. I've been working on one of the whips from Christmas. It's, get, it's looking really good. So hopefully it won't take me too long to finish that one off. I've got two more books to print off from Abe Brown. At the moment it's only two. It'll probably be more by the time I'm printing them and uh, the only reason I haven't is because I have got all of last month's um, and th the month before Christmas I haven't put them away in the binders yet I am currently doing it I was doing it last night I thought great I'll do a few of these tonight and I, would, I just started the set one and the cat jumped on the bed I started going after the Polly Pockets so I couldn't page protectors so I couldn't do it so I had to give up and put it down. So I was a bit annoyed because I was really getting through it and I was thinking, yep, getting in now, this is great. I have got three folders to fill. One I've started, it's not quite half full yet. And then the other ones, they're not ready yet at all. In a minute I'm going to do her wings. Anything I don't finish on this current chart I will finish off camera because it won't take me long and I want to get it finished before the end of the month. I'm not saying I'm not going to do another colouring chat before the end of the month but that is only Monday. We are now on Wednesday and I know what I'm like. As much as I want to do it I always get distracted by other things and I don't get to film and I, it's a shame because I do love doing it and I love colouring. You know. I've got loads of books I haven't coloured in. Oh, Colour in Heavens. I've nearly run out of space on the Colour in Heaven shelf because I've got some of the kids' ones as well I haven't coloured in. I've got loads of the ones, the recent ones I haven't coloured in. Not because I haven't wanted to, but because I've got so much whips. And I'm determined to clear my whips. I I'm, I'm think that's what I'm going to focus on. So, other than starting the old pattern here and there, and doing a new picture for colouring chats. I think mostly I'm going to work on my whips in the evenings. Patterns I like to do when I'm lying in bed, sleep, uh, you know, just relaxing, not sleeping obviously because I can't colour in, in my sleep. That would be great if I could, wouldn't I? Uh, but I just lie down and I, I use um, you know, Hoo Hoo brush markers, the water base markers, and maybe do a. Um, Oh, what do they call it? Um, I bet I haven't got a pink up here. I've got a whole pack of pinks somewhere, a new pack. And I bought them because I couldn't find pinks. Oh, there's one. Um, oh, what are they called? I've forgotten them. 
I don't know what other one it is. Anyway, my curling oven one's nearly full up on the space, so I need to to try and do that because I yeah, I'm gonna prep. I am going to do my whips now. I'm just gonna do it like this and see if I can get it to smudge nicely like I did before. Make the wings look interesting. on my Kindle that I am currently reading. Um, it's called Eye of Time, I believe. I can't remember who, who wrote it. But it's about this guy and his wife was a conservative <coughs> MP in the 1979 and she was murdered. So moving through to the modern day, well, about 2015, he, Frank, our hero, is living on the streets of London. He has lost his business, all his friends, family. He was suspected of her murder. He started drinking. So he's living as down and out on the embankment in London by the London Eye. And suddenly these chaps come over to, and talk to him and they take him away and say that he needs to go back in time to stop his wife from being murdered so he can they can avoid what they're calling the European fault. The European fault is something that is caused when the UK leaves the European Union which we have done. Um, so obviously it doesn't really work but it'll be interesting. It's very, very interesting. He's gone back in time. He's realised now that his wife wasn't as brilliant as he thought she was, even though he loved her for all those years. And he just doesn't love her anymore. So, and she doesn't love him anymore. It's just telling each other. Um, so he does change the future, but she does not stay an MP because she marries another MP. Um, after their divorce and I'm assuming he marries her friend Jane because he's in love with Jane and she takes an extended career break to have children and doesn't stay an MP whereas if she hadn't had a child she would have become foreign secretary so now they're trying to stop her from having this baby so that she will stay an MP and become foreign secretary in what 2016 because something dreadful will happen if the UK leaves the Union so I'm interested to see where it's going to go because at the moment they're thinking they're going to have to get rid of Frank because although he saved her life she was pregnant we don't know whose child it is he can't have children but then they said he's not going to be able to live out his life and cra catching crabs on Croma Beach with his grandchildren which he can't have if he can't have children so there's a bit of an anomaly going on there so it'll be interesting to see so that's that but it's very very good I am enjoying it I've still got a wartime secret to finish but I need to charge up my Kindle so I need to find a charging um, port so the light I'm using for this is my ring light that I use for my TikToks that I plug my phone into I haven't put my phone on as well but I'm using my phone a charger port to do it so I, I can't really do that and charge my Kindle at the same time. I might be able to tomorrow, potentially, but it depends. So yeah, I've, I'm reading some good books. So, like I said, I've read a few good eBooks, and I'm not far off finishing Hogfather. I might listen to it a bit, like I said, when I'm colouring in a bit, because I'll put in the those um, in the hot. So I'm just going to give her some, oops you can't see what I'm doing, some glitter on her. Her tutu. -tu. Mm -hmm. 
It is a very, very, very good. These are just supposed to look like um, strings of sequins. And I'll do that down there as well. But yeah, so it's a good book. I've got lots that I want to read. It's, it is bad when you're a reader. <laughs> And there is so much to read, it's unbelievable. I have got so much to read at the moment. And I love it, I'm, I'm not complaining because reading is my thing and I do love reading. I just wish <laughs> I didn't like it so much. I wish I was more than 24 hours in the day. So I could... Um, you know do more <laughs> do more reading well i'm probably gonna finish this in a bit we're on 26 minutes i'll get up to just over 30 34 and then oops i'm gonna turn it this way so you can see that i'm gonna be doing these stars oh dear me what a day so <sighs> see it's half term in wales i know most of england had it last week but we're on it now so Luckily, Jennifer is still in nursery most of the time, so I don't have to worry about spending money on her. Although she does want to go up the tower on the weekend. The tower is just her word for uh, the car park at Newport. <laughs> and if you're in Wales, you're probably thinking, why don't you go to Cumbran? I hate Cumbran. I just don't like it. There's not much in Newport, but to be fair, but I do prefer it. What I want is there. I don't need to go anywhere else. So, whatever I want to get is in Cumbran, so... In Newport, not Cumbran. I've only been to Cumbran like two or three times in my entire life. And it wouldn't bother me if I never went again. So, there you go. It is what it is. Yeah. I'm bound to buy some books in the charity shop. Bound to. Because that is how I rock and roll. Although I did say I would take some down when I've got some to the uh, Sense charity shop because I get a lot of books there. They're a pound. Not bad. I can live with a pound. And it's a good charity. It's a nice shop actually. They've got a huge selection of books and they said they're always looking for them so they're obviously doing a good turnover in books so i will take some down when i've got some that i don't want anymore although some of them will go to mum's it's the ones i have read and i know mum have read i'll take down there and then i'll say to them don't throw out these i will take them to the charity shop in newport because they want books they said they're always looking for books I said they, re they are really good. I mean, I have never seen any coho show up there yet, but you never know. One day I might get lucky. Or unlucky, depending on the book. And then, of course, there's the works. We got their three for a, a fiver offer. And then you get other books for like £2 or a pound or £3, depending on what they are. And yes, they are the older uh, book talk and booktube ones, but I never be one for reading something pretty much as, as soon as it comes out, unless it's Marilyn, so. And, and then if I know it's out, like Michelle's book, I knew it was coming out a long time ago because she told me. So, of course I'm going to read it. So, yeah, I love it. Oh, we're getting there but I do need the bathroom, so I will probably stop soon to go. 
and uh, finish it off because only a little bit left there's only these globs gold globes the rest of the stars and the grass area so there's not a huge amount to do we've nearly done it so I'm going to try try and do it I don't know if I can because I really need the loom ah it is what it is love it so yeah we well, haven't read many books this month I think it's only five maybe yeah five because obviously Stephen King was so huge so I have got another huge book I want to read called The Memoirs of Cleopatra uh, I might start that soon and just dip into that a bit at a night like a chapter a night and just read it as long as it takes but read other books at the same time because you know Women's. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. I'll be back after I've been and then we'll finish this off. Okay, I'm back. That's better. Anyway. So, yeah. Like I said, I haven't coloured much this month. I start the month off really great and start loads and then I don't finish them. <laughs> And it's my fault, so I'm going to try and finish a few before Monday, which is the last day of the month. And then, of course, Monday night, I will film my um, I can't even think of what it's called. That is terrible. Completed pages. I don't think I'll be doing a haul this month just simply because um, I have only got three Ava Brown and two other books or three other books. There's only got six books and one set of these Link Shine pink pens. It, I, I might just save it up for and do it in at the end of March if I get any in March. Which obviously I will because I will be getting obviously the um, Colour in Heaven one. But, you know, it's, I'm cutting back a lot because I've got so many books to colour in. I don't want to spend the money. There is one book I want to get when I get paid, which is Sarah Richter's book, if it's still in stock. Because um, I love her stuff. So I might, I might get that. Um, if you wanted to buy me a colouring book, I'll put my Amazon wish list in there, <laughs> down the bottom. You don't have to. I'm just putting it there for fun. Uh, there's lots of uh, ordinary books and colouring books on there. I know a lot of people do it and I know some people buy for them. I myself have sent happy mail to people. I don't expect it. But... You know, you never know. Anyway. I love my colouring. I still love colouring. I was colouring downstairs with Paul. Um, when he was, he was watching the football years and Man United losing um, so I usually sit with him for at least half of the the match um, and I said I'm going to go do sometimes the whole match but I said I'm going to do half because I want to go and film tonight I want to film for my channel so that's why I'm doing this and I um, yeah so I I said I'm going to go do that and then I was colouring in, who is it, Such and Such Davis, colour by number, Egyptian stained glass designs, because I love anything to do with ancient Egypt, it's my thing. So because it was, it's uh, Egyptian stained glass designs. I started that. I haven't finished it. I have done one in there this month. But, you know, tomorrow night if I sit downstairs for a bit and watch TV, I'll do a bit more of it. And so on. Well, it's just a matter of doing what I can, you know, when I can at the moment. And sometimes I can't. And sometimes I want to. It's like at the moment I'm trying to put the colour in pages away from... Ava Brown so that'll probably take me 20 to 30 minutes if I if I do a few of them tonight 
which means I won't get to colour anything because that'll be it and then it'll be, I'll be wanting to lie down and read and relax. Now, normally I could have coloured for 20 minutes and maybe finished off a whip. I have got one whip that I only can do the background on. Oh, I missed a bit there. Hang on. And I just haven't done it. Partly because I'm scared of ruining the picture, but also because it's a big piece and, you know, but I will get it done because it needs to be done so I can take it off my whip. I would love to get my whips down to zero whips. I can't see it ever happening. <laughs> or, you know, <laughs> I've got so many. But I think if I work slowly through them and try and when I start a picture in a month, complete it, then I might. I might be all right. I'm also still swatching my pencils because I still haven't finished that. Yeah, I know, exactly. It's... Oh, there's just too much of it. I've swatched the polychromos, so I'm on Prismacolor, which is good because I need to replace some of my old pencils with the new stuff. I got a new set and I haven't touched them yet, they're just sitting there, so... I'm going to um, swatch them. And then after that, I've still got the Colour Soft to do, the Faber-Castell Classics, the Rogerton, uh the Faber-Castell Gold Faber, Castle Arts, Arteza, and then all the watercolour ones as well. So, and there's probably more that I haven't thought of. So I'm trying not to buy things like pencils at the moment because I've got so many to use. What I might do is buy a pencil case for the Arteza pencils next month. But we'll have to see because I really want to try and save a bit of money for holidays and various other bits and pieces. Tomorrow will be uh, an eBay accounts night because I've got to sort out my eBay accounts. I haven't done it for a while and I've got two posts going off tonight. I've got to put money in my drop and go account but um, I'll be dropping them off tomorrow and then I can just update it completely um, which will be great. And then I won't have to do it potentially till next week and I'll probably try and start doing it every Tuesday night which is when payments will go in if I've bought if I've sold anything it would make sense to do it all then just make a note of what I've um, posted the dates and whether or not it's a parcel or a letter or whatever because obviously it depends on the item so yeah it's all brilliant really. I mean I, I do like doing it so so I'll start doing that every Tuesday. I'm gonna have to plan what I'm gonna do every night in the when I come up to bed and I do come up to bed quite early sometimes we're in bed at eight o'clock um Paul goes to sleep and I, I come in the spare room to film and if he's, he's up tonight watching the football or I read in here or I make TikToks sometimes I sit in colour because I take up a lot of space when I colour especially if I want to sit on the bed you know, it's just nice. Or I'm putting pages away. So I will have to start a plan. So as it's paid out every Tuesday, the money, I think I'll get a calendar. Just on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Put what I do on it on the days. You know, and uh, I could probably download one and print it off. Start it properly in March, because that is next week. <laughs> and, you know. So, yeah, we've got a lot to do. And I do need to get more organised. I am a person who does things when they feel like it, like a mood person, I go with what the mood is. But sometimes that doesn't help you get organised and help you 
achieve things like doing eBay. Next week I'll have my two afternoons back where I have at least an hour and a half to do what I want and that's supposed to be for eBay but saying that I haven't been using it for various reasons and this week I haven't got it so next week I've got it back so I think I might then do that so do eBay um, I'll, I won't do one for this month but I'll print out a planner for March I'll have a look for one when I go on my laptop March 2022 calendar uh, you know I can put my working hours on there and then when I finish at one o'clock I can say right okay I'm doing eBay for at least an hour or it might be I okay, get some lunch first then do eBay it should be mostly photographing so I can get that done during the day because that's the bit that I get hot and sweaty and stuffy on. I've got to sort out my lamp because the bloody cat's broken it. I don't know whether it's just that the lamp bulb has come out, which it has, and I don't know where I've put it. Oh, I can see it. Um, or whether it's actually broken the lamp fit in itself. So I need to check that. I have got a spare one. I've got another whole lamp and bulb upstairs. This last year had a good few years. I bought it in Tenerife. Well, no, I was in Tenerife when I ordered it and it was before Jennifer was born, so it's probably five years and I used it for filming here I mean that's why I'm using the, this ring light uh, it's just simply because I've got to fix the bulb on the big light also this light doesn't get as hot so I'm quite happy with that Nearly finished, we just got to do these squirrely rosy things. I'm going to do them red in a minute once I finish the glittery grass. Yes, it's another picture done. I've enjoyed this one. I love Deborah Muller. I've got loads of PDFs of hers. I've actually done two Deborah Muller PDFs this month that I printed off. Because I get so many pages to print a month and I don't always hit the correct amount I um with the full amount I print up PDFs that I get I haven't actually been on the Deborah Muller page for a while and downloaded anything if there is anything so what I might do is put put a new folder in it call it 2022 and uh, just download anything that's this year some of them I might recognise and just put them in a folder named 2022 and just uh, print them out when I feel like it. There you go. Nearly done now. Just little rosies. So do you, any of you guys do TikTok? Do you watch it or do you make them? Um, I know a few people who make them. Uh, some make loads and some make a few. I just make make what I can when I can. I know the way that the algorithm works is that the more you put up, the better. And apparently, you can upload up to 300 TikToks a day. Who's got time for that? Um, who's got that much to say a day? I haven't. Um, anyway, that's why I prefer YouTube, because I can make a video when I've got something to say or let you know about. Um, okay, yes, with books, book talk, if you read a lot, you can say, all right, I finished reading this book. And I do do that sometimes. Um, but, yeah, I do. I do say, oh, I finished, a, I have now finished reading this book. I gave it three stars. And the reason I gave it three stars was because of this. Or I gave it four stars, or I gave it two. I don't use any of the, the silly sounds. I might put a bit of music over the back, but you know, like they use. I wanted to give you five stars, but that's not enough, so I give you ten. Or I wanted to give you no stars, but that's not possible, so I give you one. I, I just don't see the point in that. I... I 
I'd never be able to do it anyway. Anyway, here we go. Here is our girl from Twisted Tutus. She is all done. I hope you've enjoyed this and you haven't minded me whinging too much at you. I really hope you haven't minded me at all. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, leave me a comment down below. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you want to, you don't have to. And I'll see you in the next video, which won't be long away, I promise. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.